hope you're all doing well. I'm parked at a TA in Lafayette, Louisiana, and I'm waiting. I've got a uh, very short load to pick up this morning. Um, it's only going uh, about 60 miles and it pays 200 bucks. And I was told it'd be in and out, no problems, over and done real quick. So hopefully uh, take me about less than two hours and I'll be ready to pick up something else. And uh, this week hasn't, um, hasn't been a bad week. Uh, so far, it's Wednesday morning and I've grossed $1,500 for the week. Um, fuel, I've been paying two, anywhere between 255 and 265 a gallon. So that isn't terrible. Um, it could be a whole lot better. I, I always catch myself when I say that, hey, fuel's gone down. Yeah, but it's still way up there from what it was. Um, so this week I've been trying to stay Texas, Louisiana because the fuel prices are nice and the driving's easy and um, there's, for hot shot, there's there's some loads. I wouldn't say there's a lot, but there's some. It's, it's really slowing down. This is a slow time of the year for any kind of flatbed. So, um, you know, getting a fairly good rate on anything and getting the load is, is what's the, the, the problem because like right now I'm in South Louisiana and if you, if a load pops up on the load board and you wait more than five seconds, you're not going to get it. If it's, if it's a decent load. Now there's some loads that stay on the load board for a long time because nobody wants them. But, uh, yeah, if it's something that's it has a, a decent price on it, man, you got to jump on it and you got to jump on it quick. You got to know what you want, and get it because every Tom, Dick, and Harry in Louisiana has a truck and a trailer, and that's what they want to do is hot shot. So it's it's tough over here. It's tough in Texas, but it's really tough in Louisiana. Their loads drop on the low board at a pretty good rate, but um, you just got to be quick, quick, quick to get them. Uh, that's why I jumped on this short run. It stayed on the load board for uh, about 20 minutes, and I thought, hey, that's $200. You know, I can make that in a couple of hours and, and jump on another load. So um, I went ahead and got it. Um, I've done three loads so far this week. Um, trying to remember what I did. I can't even remember now. The load I did yesterday was a heavy, heavy load. Um, <clears throat> it was a tank. I don't know what kind of chemical it had in it, but it wasn't hazmat. It wasn't, I didn't need to placard it, but it, um, it weighed a little over 5,000 pounds. And if it wasn't for the, you know, the liquid, you know, moving back and forth, um, I wouldn't have had any worries at all. But, you know, you're always, when you're in this small of an operation, in a half ton truck, you have to take it easier. That liquid could, sw you know, slosh you off the road. Man, that guy's got his bright lights on in the morning. But it's been a good week so far, and and um, I'm gonna give you guys a little truck tour because I get that question asked a lot. You know, what do you got? Where do you sleep? What kind of trailer? All those type of things. So we'll do a real quick truck tour, and and um, then uh, as the week goes on, I'll update you on my totals. All right, <clears throat> a lot of you have asked, where do I sleep? And this is it. I don't know if you can see, this is just the back of the cab here. <clears throat> it's wide enough, it's probably wider than a twin bed. It's just about five and a half feet long though. So what I do is I just, I take my shoes off, I loosen my shoestrings and take my shoes off and sit right there. So I don't uh, get dirt on the bed. And I have, uh, some of these fans that I bought at the truck stop. And what I also have is a uh, loud truck. What I also have is uh, I've cut out some cardboard to fit in these windows for some privacy. And I just take those out. Everything I just take out and stack down here in the morning and uh, good to go. Um, now I've, I've had a, a hot shot rig before and what I did was I took out this seat 
and I built myself a platform. I don't know about uh, maybe 12 inches off that ground over to about right there. And I was able to to lay catacornered in there, and uh, it was a lot more comfortable. But that was a more permanent operation. I hadn't planned on being in this one for for three months now, but. Um, you can see if you take out that seat, it gives you about another foot of space in there. And this cab is also much bigger than my, my Dodge cab. I had a Dodge 4500, <clears throat> and the back seat in it wasn't, it's probably a foot shorter than this, maybe even more. So there's, there's enough room back in here to make you a living space. All right, let's talk about my setup here. Now I have a, uh, a 20 foot flatbed trailer it's a true flatbed it's 102 inches wide it's got two ramps but um, because of the height of the flatbed the ramps aren't long enough for cars uh, I can put tractors on and four-wheelers and stuff like that on there pretty easily but I need to build some ramp extenders in order to be able to get cars on there but it is a true flatbed no dovetail uh, anything like that um, It is a 10,000 GVWR. I just wanted the lightest trailer I could get To pull behind my box truck and my half ton if I needed to so I've got my generator mounted here This is the cheapest generator you can get at Harbor Freight and it does the job I have no complaints with it, it starts with the first crank or first pull and uh if I'm just running a fan or a um, electric blanket or something like that, it'll run for 12 hours without uh, on one tank of gas. So, and this is a, a mess I've got here. Um, I, I carry kind of, you know, the minimum of stuff. I don't need a whole lot of stuff with a 20 foot trailer, but I've got about 10 two inch straps. I've also got a spare for the trailer right there. I have a place to mount it right there, but uh, I don't want it to get stolen. I've got a couple of four by fours. Um, I've got a 27 foot tarp. I've got four chains and four binders. Um, you know, if you had a bigger trailer, if you had a 40 footer, I'd recommend a few more chains and binders. But if I need more than four chains and binders, I'll probably need a bigger trailer. I've got a, a, a blanket right here to put under my tarp, keep it from ripping. And I've just got uh, some edge protectors, uh, some bungees, um, just lots of miscellaneous stuff that you never know if you're going to need or not and that's my my cord i use a heavy duty cord to run from my generator to the front of the truck but this thing just closes up now this would if you're going to do this with a half ton truck you might um think about getting a camper putting a little camper top on there and uh just make that your sleeper now what if i was to do this full time in this truck this is just temporary truck this half ton truck i would put a sliding glass window right there and if i was doing it during the summer that'd be perfect place just to put your um a window unit right there during the night and um keep yourself cool at night and then you can put it back in the bed in the evening time but this is just a Run of the mill, well, I wouldn't say run of the mill. This is a 2014 F-150. This is my personal truck. Um, but when I bought it, I was thinking ahead. I said, you know what? What if my box truck goes down? I'll need to use this one to work with. So I found one with a heavy duty tow package, which is not easy to find on a half ton truck. Uh, at least it wasn't for me. This thing has a, uh, a brake controller already from the factory inside heavy duty uh, springs on the back the frames a little heavier than uh, regular half ton but uh, it's got the 5.0 um, and it works I've, yesterday I pulled a what was it uh, some kind of tank liquid and it weighed a little over 5,000 pounds so uh, probably about 8,400 pounds with the trailer and all and it did well it did uh, as good as it's expected so that's it